T.S. Decker, Command Sergeant Major, retired. Today on How To, we're going to do our second phase of our training with map and navigation. This is Military.com's How To. Today on How To, we're going to show you using a topographical map to go from point A to point B using a military protractor and how to draw a grid azimuth from one point to another. This is a military protractor. This is what we use for topographical maps such as this. Once you learn to use it, it's a big thing to have in your kit bag wherever you go. As you can see on a protractor, you have a series of numbers inside and outside. The inside numbers are degrees. The outside numbers are mill readings. We have our start point, Medina Range LZ. What we'll do, we'll center this right in the center of Medina Ridge LZ. We want to go to Hill 425, right at the top of that. What we'll then do is take a piece of paper, trying to keep this as accurately as you can, and it goes all the way straight through to the top of the hill. Crosses approximately 291 degrees right here. Then what I do is draw a thin line from our start point all the way through to the top of the mountain. Once you do that, you're going to look and see that's a pretty long distance. So you want to know exactly how many clicks it is away. Again, using this piece of paper from my starting point, do a tick mark here and run it out to the hilltop and make a tick mark here. Once you got your tick marks, you go down to the scale. Start out, putting it on zero, and we go out. There's five clicks. Run it back. Six, seven, eight, nine. In this small section, we would run it back this way, and you're looking at roughly 400 extra meters. So that's roughly just under nine and a half clicks from your start point at Medina Ridge LZ to the top of that mountain. Now, if we're gonna walk it, we have to remember to convert grid azimuth to magnetic azimuth. Where do we get that? We go down to our declination diagram. In this instance, the GM angle is 10.3 degrees. So we knew we had a 291 grid azimuth and we gotta change it to a 301.3 degree magnetic asthma. To sum this up, you're going to walk on a 301.3 degree asthma for approximately nine and a half clicks. And if you do it right, you should be going from the start here to your end point should be roughly right at the top of the hill. I'm T.S. Decker. This is Military.com's How To.